today I'm going to tell you a story about one of the strongest men who ever lived. If this is your first time hearing about Milo of Croton, then make sure to stick around because I promise you this is a story which every lifter needs to hear. Milo was born around 2500 years ago, in the 6th century BC in the Greek colony of Croton, a city which is now called Crotone in southern Italy. He was one of the most legendary athletes of the ancient world. Milo competed in wrestling and he was so dominant that he won six separate Olympic championships. His first win was in the 60th Olympiad in boys wrestling. Then, as an adult, he would go on to win every wrestling championship between the 62nd and 66th Olympiads. That's an incredibly long career, considering that the Olympics are only held once every four years. That means Milo was at the very top of his sport for around 24 years. But Milo was not only known for his success in wrestling, he was also widely considered to be the strongest man on the planet. There are several epic feats of strength attributed to him. We'll go through a couple of them, but I'll leave the most important one for last. So Milo was a follower of Pythagoras. You know that dude that figured out how to calculate the length of the third side of a right angle triangle? Yeah, that Pythagoras. Well, one day Pythagoras was having a meeting with his followers, Milo included, and the roof of the building they were in collapsed. However, Milo somehow managed to hold up the entire roof of the building and gave everyone a chance to escape before making it out himself. Milo would also display his strength in some cheeky ways, like holding out his arm and challenging people to try and bend his pinky finger. He would also hold a pomegranate in one hand and have people try to take it away from him. Not only could no one ever do it, but there was also never a dent or any sort of damage done to the pomegranate. However, the most interesting story and the focus of this video is how Milo acquired such strength in the first place. Milo would train by picking up a newborn calf and carrying it around on his shoulders. He would then repeat this every single day and as the calf slowly grew bigger, Milo slowly grew stronger. After a couple years, the calf would have grown into a full-sized bull which Milo was still able to pick up and carry around on his shoulders. At this point, you might be thinking, there's no way this guy could actually pick up and carry around a bull, right? Well, here's the thing. Milo's wrestling victories are well documented, so he's definitely not just completely made up. And he must have been very strong to be at the top of his sport for so long. But look, we didn't have iPhones back then, so there is no proof of him being able to carry a bull. So who knows, maybe there is some truth to it, or maybe it's just a story. But the point is that it really doesn't matter. Even if the bull was just a myth, the lesson we can take away from the story is still extremely valuable. You see, Milo didn't get his legendary strength by lifting a bull. He got his strength by first lifting something very light, a calf, and with very slow progression over several years, he worked his way up to a bull. I hope this is sounding familiar because this is literally the perfect example for progressive overload. And it works just as well now as it did back then. If you watched my recent Hackenschmidt video, you would have seen how impressed I was with his emphasis on progressive overload in a program from 100 years ago. But the reality is that Hackenschmidt's ideas were nothing new. As we can see from Milo's story, the importance of progressive overload has been well understood for literally thousands of years. Guys, there is no secret to building muscle or strength. Sure, we can try to optimize the finer details, but the core principles will never change. You get results by gradually lifting heavier and heavier weights over time. It's as simple as that. 
If someone, for whatever reason, is trying to sell you a system which will build strength or muscle without progressive overload, you can easily discount it as a gimmick or a scam. As much as people try, there simply is no reinventing the wheel here. Milo teaches us to start small and to achieve greatness by slowly improving ourselves every day. This is a fundamental concept for any lifter to understand, but it can also be applied to any other sport or even just life in general. No one starts at the top of the mountain. We all need to make our way there, one step at a time. Anyway, to finish up the story, I'll give you a couple more anecdotes from Milo's life. He was also a fierce military commander. When Croton went to war with neighboring Sybarite in 510 BC, Milo was leading the charge. He was mimicking mythological Hercules by wearing the skin of a lion which he had killed himself, and he was armed with a club. Milo was also wearing his Olympic crown as he charged into battle. I mean, just imagine what must have been going through the minds of those enemies as they see this giant jack dude dressed as a lion running at them with a club. Despite being outnumbered 3 to 1, Milo would lead his men to victory. Now, while that's all very cool and glorious, Milo's death was quite the opposite. According to legend, he was walking alone in the forest when he came across a tree stump which someone was trying to split apart with a wedge. Whoever was trying to split up the stump had finished for the day and left the wedge in place. Since Milo was always up for a challenge, he thought he could try to tear the stump apart with his bare hands. As he started pulling on the stump, the wedge got loosened and fell out. This trapped Milo's fingers in the stump, and no matter how hard he tried, he couldn't free himself. In this vulnerable position, Milo was attacked and devoured by wild animals. It could have been a lion or maybe a pack of wolves. There are several very cool historical paintings and statues depicting Milo's death. And yeah, that's where the story ends. The strongest man in the world, defeated by a tree stump. I hope you guys found this story inspiring or entertaining. If you did, please consider dropping a like and a comment. It really helps out the channel. And make sure to check out the old school bodybuilding playlist for more videos. Thank you for watching.